Hey, what is up guys? Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm actually getting a really late start on this vlog. Um, it is after 5 o'clock here uh, in Chicago. And I'm actually going to be doing a quick vlog tonight because I just got the latest um, notification for uh, the newest software update for the Model 3. <clears throat> this is the uh, 2019.36.2. Um, actually, I think it's dot one dot two um, software update for the Model 3 and this is the uh, update that's going to contain the latest 5% um, performance boost as well as the 5% uh, increase in mileage. It also has uh, one pedal driving which from my understanding just means that um, currently the regen braking uh, when you're coming up to about 5 miles per hour it actually disengages and then with the one pedal driving, it'll actually, uh, regen will actually bring the car to a complete stop. Um, actually looking forward to uh, all of the updates on this one. It also includes faster uh, supercharging, which is really nice. But because I'm going to be taking uh, a trip up to Minnesota, um, currently I actually have the wheel cap kit for the stock 18 inch rims. And I'm actually going to be putting on the um, the arrow wheels again. So one of the things that I realized that when I put on those, um, uh, when I put on that wheel cap kit, I noticed that the center caps went in very, very snug. Um, it's going to be really hard to get them off. So <clears throat> what I did was I actually went out and bought one of these. Um, all it is is just a, um, a suction cup. And I'm going to put on the center cap and try and take that out so that I put the wheel caps on. Uh, before I take my trip tomorrow um, Because I'm gonna need all the range I can get and what I'm actually gonna do I'm gonna turn you guys around. Sorry for the uh, poor lighting. I'm actually in the uh, My parking garage, which thankfully is actually heated, uh, which is really nice um, Because if I park my car outdoor um, It's actually going to uh, consume a lot of energy kind of maintain that battery power So I'm gonna turn you guys around Hopefully you guys can see this. Um, doesn't look like you can see it on, let me go up front here. That looks a little bit better. So here is the center cap. Put this on here. I'm just gonna yank this off. Oh, that didn't work. Let's see if I can set you guys up. Unfortunately, that was a uh, complete fail. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the uh, center cap off, um, which just means I will be rolling into some of the supercharging stations with, the, with a little less mileage than I'd like. Um, but that's okay. Luckily, all the way up from here to Minnesota, there's plenty of uh, supercharging stations. Um, so what I'm going to do is... I'm actually going to head to one of the service centers because uh, one of the things about owning a standard range Model 3 is that it doesn't give you the ability to remote install um, the uh, newest software updates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like in the app. Get rid of some of these notifications. All right, flip you guys around. So in the app, as you can see, it says that there's a software update available, but it says to connect to a Wi-Fi. When you click on it, if you have the standard range plus uh, and above, you'll be able to click on that and then it's gonna install those updates remotely for you. Um, you won't have to come to the car like I do. When you do get to the car, right up here, it's gonna tell you that there is a software update available and then when you click on it um, it'll show you right down here to connect uh, to Wi-Fi to download the latest install 
So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to head over to um, the Tesla service center not too far from here. It's on like a five minute drive. I'm going to try and connect to their Wi-Fi. So when you do actually pull up to a service center, uh, the Model 3s, uh, and I, I assume all Teslas, will just automatically connect to the service center uh, Wi-Fi. Um, they're going to be closing in about a half an hour, so that's going to give me time. I'm going to go pick up my dog uh, because he's been uh, by himself most of the day, which is um, not fair to him. So I'm going to go pick him up. I'm going to bring him with me over to the uh, service center. I'm going to see if I can get a supercharge. Uh, I'm, I'm going to see if I can top up. Um, this way I'm ready for tomorrow. But then also, the last time I... Uh, charged 100% I was getting 215 miles so I'm kind of interested to see if I'll get you know like an additional 5% uh, after this install but we'll we'll see <laughs> So I just pulled up to the uh, Tesla service station. I hope you guys can see me. Uh, again, I do apologize for the lighting. Uh, I am using Tesla's interior lights, so they're they're not the brightest, uh, but they're going to have to do. So I pulled up to the uh, service station. Um, luckily enough, I was actually able to um, get a uh, spot at the supercharger. Um, so because this is a service center, um, the I think they only have like three or maybe four actual plugins for supercharging and most of the time they're uh, what's plugged in here are usually cars that are being serviced so this time I was fortunate enough to uh, grab a spot where nobody was supercharging and the Tesla automatically connects to the service center Wi-Fi I'll go ahead and flip you guys around so you can take a look at that so right up here in the upper right hand corner to click on that it's gonna automatically connect to Tesla service center and for those of you that um, uh, have purchased a standard range um, you might have to do this um, I think what I'm gonna do going forward is I'm gonna update my cell phone plan to have unlimited data this way I can just connect it to my hotspot and download um, the Wi-Fi updates that way um, this way I don't have to come all the way over here to supercharge and take up a supercharging station um, so I'm gonna let this uh, I'm gonna let my car supercharge I'm at 170 miles it should be only about 20 minutes and then uh, once I'm done supercharging, I'm gonna install it, uh, the update, which typically takes about mm, anywhere from like 20 to 25 minutes. All right, so the Tesla is done uh, supercharging. At the moment, I'm gonna flip you guys around real quick before I do the update. Uh, let's see if you can see it. So at the moment, I've charged 100%. It's 215 miles of range. Um, it's advertised as 220, but right now I'm getting 215. And then if I do get a 5% boost in range, uh, I guess maybe it should be higher. Anyways, I'm going to do this uh, install and we'll be right back. Guys, so I'm done installing the, uh, the latest update. I'm going to supercharge again uh, because during the whole supercharging process, I did leave, uh, lose three miles. Um, I do have the latest update. At the moment, it says I now have the uh, stopping mode, which is regen all the way down to zero, which is nice. Um, I do have the scheduled departure, uh, which I don't think I'm going to be using uh, most of the time. And the reason for that is because uh, my car is parked in a uh, heated parking garage. So the battery should stay at the, uh, at the correct temperature. I do have a uh, power increase. Um, it says your car's power has increased by approximately 5%, improving acceleration and performance. Um, you guys could probably hear my dog. Um, I have the automatic navigation, um, which 
I don't think I'm going to be using and then that's it uh, I don't have the 5% performance improvement uh, or excuse me the 5% um, increase in battery range I do have uh, it just shows you what was in the previous uh, update but that's about it um, so it's very possible that they took that 5% out for my um, for my model um, but that's alright I'm gonna continue supercharging on my 214 mile. Um, so supercharging is complete. I'm only at 215 miles. Uh, I'm gonna take this out for a spin. I'm gonna go drop the dog off. Uh, but I think that's it. Um, no performance or no mileage gain for me. Um, which, uh, again, it's very possible Tesla may have taken out at last minute. But let me get out of here because they're there are people driving by that would like to supercharge. So talking a bit. Um, luckily, I do have better lighting in the uh, in the garage here. Uh, so I was taking a look at the um, the driving uh, the new driving settings that we have in the standard range of Model Three, uh, and it looks like there is an additional stopping mode, um, and it's called Hold. And I'll, I'll switch it around so you guys can take a look at it. here get you guys focused so I'm not sure if you can actually read that small text but it says maximizes range by extending regenerative braking to lower speeds and automatically blends in brakes to hold the vehicle at a stop so that's this new hold setting um, so when you um, are slowing down I think it's uh, once it reaches five miles per hour previously uh, you would have to apply the actual friction brakes but now regenerative braking will actually uh, make the vehicle come to a full stop. Uh, and so I'm wondering if that new uh, regenerative braking setting is what's supposed to increase the uh, battery range by roughly about uh, 5%. I'm not sure, you know, I'm not sure if Tesla previously was just given like an additional 5% of battery range that was available or if that 5% is now coming from the fact that you have regenerative braking all the way down to zero. Uh, either way, it's much appreciated. Um, I did have a chance to um, you know, check out the new performance uh, enhancements and you can definitely tell the car has a little bit more pull. Um, the car, um, so this is a standard range. The standard range um, on Tesla's website says it does zero to 60 in about 5.6 seconds. So if there is an actual 5% uh, improvement, it means that it's now doing about 5.3%, which previously was the standard range plus performance power uh, or zero to 60 setting. So basically I paid for uh, a standard range, but now I actually have a standard range plus performance setting. But obviously of course the standard range plus uh, now is actually a little bit faster as well. So it's probably a little bit closer to 4.9 4 seconds or maybe five seconds flat uh, but either way I think these uh, electric vehicles because of the fact that they have torque available uh, at its lowest speed from zero miles per hour it feels really fast um, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with performance wise even at uh, just the standard range um, there's no additional settings or excuse me there's no additional um, you know new features in the latest release that I think I'm going to be using to be honest with you um, so I think um, I was really looking forward to that performance uh, boost which is really nice and then that one uh, pedal driving uh, of course is really nice actually one other thing that I want to show you guys um, since I got you it was a small um, it's a small little uh, shield I guess you could call it um, that I actually put in the front of the car um, and what it does is Tesla actually has its own um, it actually has its own little guard to prevent like little leaves from getting inside of the uh, air filter which brings in fresh air uh, from the outside um, but the problem is is that uh, that little filter when you actually open up the hood it does leave open the possibility that it could leave additional debris in there and then if you get any type of uh, debris in there like grass or um, or some type of leaves uh, after a while, 
uh, obviously that's going to go down into your air intake and it could actually cause uh, an unpleasant odor because obviously that uh, those leaves or grass is going to decay but it was a really quick and simple install and I'll take you guys and I will show you that real quick all right so all you guys do just take off this cover super easy to take off too by the way just take this off it's got a bunch of clips on the side here see if I can show you so this right here um, this actually doesn't come stock uh, with the Tesla so as you can see pull you guys down over here so as you can see this is what the guard looks like from Tesla and then as you can see here um, this right here basically would just suck in a bunch of you know debris uh, once you actually open up the hood, as you can see, it could fall out right here. Um, let's see if you guys can see that. So the debris would fall down from there, and then it would go down uh, from the windshield, and then it could potentially fall in there. So what you could buy is, you can buy a secondary accessory, and then all you do is just lay it over the top here. It's got a bunch of little holes in there, so you're still going to be able to get air, fresh air. And then... All you have to do is just reinstall the shield from Tesla. Uh, and again, it's real simple to install. It's got some clips. Just press them down just like that. So as you can see, uh, that additional shield is super simple to install. It's only like 15 to 20 bucks. Um, there's different versions that you can buy on Amazon. Uh, like I said, anywhere from 15 to 20 dollars. I think it's a really great, uh, worthwhile investment, especially if you live somewhere out in the country and you have a Tesla. Um, if you got a bunch of leaves that uh, you know are falling all over your property, uh, it's just a great investment to make, um, especially because. Uh, one of the known, uh, unfortunate downsides to the Ses uh, Tesla HVAC system is that over time it can actually develop um, like a mildew smell. So you definitely want to make sure that you're doing everything possible to prevent any type of that, uh, any type of debris getting into your um, your air intake system. But anyways, I will finally let you guys go. Uh, thanks again for watching my videos. Hope you guys have a good night. See ya.